Hi Libra, here's a general look at your solar chart for July 2013. Now there's something interesting happening this month for us all. All of the, all of the signs are going to benefit in different ways from this new formation which is, uh, will be taking shape in our skies, particularly from later in June when um, Jupiter moves, but even before Jupiter moves from the sign Gemini to the sign Cancer. Um, it will beginning beginning to take shape and the shape that I'm talking about is a triangular shape and that in astrology is called a grand trine and it's a very powerful uh, wave that it pulses out. Uh, there will be one planet on each of the points so we get Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune in the three water signs. So it's Jupiter in Cancer, Saturn in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces and that means it's a watery grand trine. And watery grand trines are very supportive. Uh, so uh, in July, and actually August as well, um, uh, it's just creeping up to it in, the, in late June, but really I'm going to, to look at July and August, and uh, that wave emanating from this celestial geometry in our skies, this, this, this music in the architecture spinning in infinity in our heavens, um, in the water signs could really be like a, a healing balm, a sort of a cool breath of, 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 of uh, soothing, uh, cooling, calming air that is just blowing across all of this really quite tense energy, that this standing wave, I call it the tinderbox now, that's been going on uh, during uh, the last few years with this uh, aspect between uh, Uranus and Pluto, both of which are impacting your sign and the other cardinal signs very strongly indeed. Um, it is about change, but it can be, you know, the sort of change that, that drags us kicking and screaming into the next um, stage of our lives or, or, or level of consciousness. So, um, this uh, grand watery trine is going to be good news. It can mean that uh, we can communicate or, or sense more through our hearts, through our feelings. We appreciate the feeling value um, in a relationship more than just the kind of the, the, the information interchange. And actually speaking of values, it could help us to uh, connect with our more eternal values that go beyond this lifetime and come from where we all come from, which is the absolute. So that would be nice. And um, it's, it, it could present us, itself to us as a choice in the moment, you know, but then we, we can choose either from the head or from the heart. And with this grand watery trine around, which is just got a lot of flow with it um, and it's not kind of judgmental and conditional like um, judging from the, the head can be, um, it, it can mean that we get that support there and that uh, we are, it's more easy for us then to come from our hearts. Um, so in your particular case this Grand Watery Trine is working through your earth houses and water and earth go very well together. So you could feel um, uh, a little bit more pressurized to bring something to fruition. This is true uh, because of the position of um, Uranus and Pluto. Uh, but during this period, you do get help from Saturn, Neptune and Jupiter forming this grand trine, meaning that new doors are going to be opening, perhaps in your area of career, perhaps uh, to do with um, the techniques you use, the skills you have, um, health issues as well, and really um, get you thinking bigger about things, uh, get you thinking outside of the box about uh, not only where you're going from here, but how you're going to get there. So it's the nuts and bolts of the situation as well. So there we go, the, uh, the watery grand trine. Um, it's a very nice energy and uh, yeah, we could do with a little bit of that uh, to take the edge off this, this tinderbox, uh, this, this quite sort of edgy, uh, fragile, uh, almost like fr fracturing energy that we've, we've got around, uh, which is influencing the whole planet. 
Now, um, until the 21st, uh, or rather the 22nd, the sun is going to be up at the top of your chart in the area of career and of uh, anything to do with your general life direction. And so you're going to be more aware of whatever you're doing is kind of uh, uh, driving things in the direction of a goal or, or because of a project that you're in, a venture that you're in. Um, in in many ways it's to do with your image or an image or a reputation as well and you've just got to be you know if you really believe in something you've got to be consistent as you go forward responsible to um, in the eyes of others you want to come across well but you've got to be responsible as you go forwards and um, how you packaging yourself or something that uh, you're responsible for is going to be more center stage because you want to come across well, you want to make the right impression. Also, you can be keener to show authority in certain situations yourself, but when it comes to authority figures or bureaucratic sort of fish officials, um, bosses, even parents, you also uh, can feel a bit of restriction there, uh, a bit of limitation maybe, but also want to come across well um, in their eyes uh, because it gets you to where you want to go, whether these are just via points on the way to where you want to go or whether this is the whole master plan. And so um, you rely a little bit on them um, uh, to um, kind of, you know, just put the put 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 the um, put the, um, the 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 air beneath your wings, as it were. And then from the twenty second, uh, it's a busy, progressive phase. There could be connections there with a group um, of some kind. Uh, there'll be new contacts or more involvement within um, a community of some kind. Maybe a group with a special interest in common and uh, it's a very future orientated phase it feels as though the ball's now rolling on something you know the ball's rolling you've been waiting and now the ball's rolling on something um, and it can be quite an unusual time so you could be a bit you know unconventional things that you're not familiar with could crop up and you've just got to kind of deal with them it could be inspirational time as well and it could be um, you know a time which gets you thinking along a completely different track in some way you know now M mercury's been in the same area since late may so that means discussions correspondence and ideas may revolve around um, short-term plans longer-term uh, considerations paperwork is because of you know centered around this um, uh, in internet stuff um, any kind of um, goal or scheme um, that you know that may may hit a few um, may may have a blip or two because Mercury is going retrograde up until the nineteenth. It's important for you to um, hold the <clears throat> hold your nerve really um, as things unfold. Be alert to what's new on the block, etc. But put a you know as much um, a fluency. Um, and mental effort as you can into expressing yourself in the best way that you can to get where you want to go. Um, and that can be through speaking, writing or, or any other forms of, 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 of expression. Um, mercury uh, retrograde, yeah, that can mean a glitch or two, maybe mis a misconception, maybe somebody gets the wrong end of the stick, maybe it's you, maybe it's, it could be an authority type figure. Um, that, uh, you know, you, you want to avoid that, you, 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 you've got to sort of clear the hurdles, you've got to overcome certain things, you've got to clear things up, get things evened out, um, and Mercury then goes direct after the 19th, which then puts Mercury back in its normal modality, and Mercury will be there until August the 9th. Um, now friends and acquaintances are well starred, and you feel the support as you move forwards, uh, with something that you've hoped for, maybe for um, a very long time. Uh, you've got to put a lot of effort into this. Um, it could be in, uh, involve you in um, networking, um, group gatherings, team efforts. Um, that's up until the 23rd. I don't know if I said that. Um, and then contacts new and old. That should feel interesting. Pooling forces and resources. That could feel supportive and could be materially beneficial for you. 
and in general facilitate positive experiences for you and you can make some new friends and valuable new contacts and others could see you as being invaluable to their progress. So it's not, not just, you know, them being stepping stones for you, but you're a stepping stone for them or, or you and your team maybe, I don't know. And then from the 23rd, Venus um, is in a more background sort of area there. You're putting yourself out more. Um, maybe you're in a private little bubble with that you can be a group of people or just you teaming up with someone. Um, and it's a very good time for you to look after yourself a bit more, but also to be there for others and look after others a little bit more. Um, in some situations, you might be inclined to keep your feelings to yourself. Um, and also keep, you know, any, any, um, um, keep, um, try to keep aligned, uh, with, you know, your inner, inner, touching base with your inner self, um, and because this is quite an emotional area as well, but some project or other can be flourishing in the background, some venture can be flourishing in the background, and you can be within some kind of close circle or close-knit environment where things, I see this as like an incubation area, like a chrysalis. So things like beautiful butterfly is developing here. And it's a very artistic area. Some of you could develop yourself through the arts, through spirituality, healing, dream work, anything like that. And do it in good company. And now uh, Mars, uh, until mid-month, Mars is in an area where you could be very much hands-on learning through doing. It's um, to do with getting out and about, maybe taking a trip, um, uh, long distance uh, perhaps, or connecting with those long distance. Of course, this is a, a daily thing for us now. Um, we're always connecting with people on the other side of the world, but um, maybe having even more of a connection and maybe even physically traveling. Um, uh, so foreign lands, foreign cultures, foreign connections are going to be important. Uh, some of your physical energy is going to be needed, in fact pr probably quite a lot of stamina is going to be needed to push the envelope as, you, as the envelope of ordinary daily life is pushed into new areas and um, it's time to reach out for new experiences, get a different angle on something, put yourself into uh, spreading the word on something as well, well, you know, getting something known exchanging knowledge um, <clears throat> and learning through doing, very much learning through doing and getting a grand overview. But the bigger horizons, you know, this is an area of the bigger horizons around you. Uh, and then from mid-month, uh, Mars moves and then that's a period for putting physical effort into your targets, your goals, um, your, your, your aspirations and uh, uh, ambitions. And these could be career orientated or maybe they're not. Uh, maybe it's something in your personal life, maybe it's a bit of a mix of both. And overall, this transit of Mars could inspire you to improve um, things. So that needs physical effort to improve the image, to package something better, uh, to be you know, up for it and to be full of drive and energy. And others will look to you to take a lead as well. You might have to be the initiator, the one that makes the decisions, the one that gives the example. And um, don't be too hasty though, don't be too impatient, don't let, you know, um, bad feeling bubble up inside of you because Mars can be a bit like that. Um, so anybody dragging their feet, anybody not doing it in the way that you would do it, um, try to be, you know, uh, magnanimous, tolerant, and that's what you're all about, of course, Libra, I know, but, um, you know, even you do have the flip side of the coin, so just uh, you know, keep your head, hold your cool, don't be hasty, and then you will make good progress with the master pack plan. And also lesser goals and ambitions too. Now, uh, Jupiter begins, uh, or began its new cycle on June the 26th, so if you're listening to this uh, in June, it, it, it probably hasn't quite done it yet, but uh, for about a year, Jupiter's going to be in a, a very good um, position, very well for you actually, at the top of your solar chart to do with um, opening new doors in where you go from here in life, career, you know, definitely um, new pathways opening up in the area of career, life direction. And uh, um, not all, you know, you'll have to filter, you'll have to sort of sieve out uh, opportunities because when Jupiter by degree comes near to your sun or an important point in your 
chart, you could be spoiled for choice. You know, you could just get overwhelmed. So you need to have that filter there to filter out, you know, the wheat from the chaff, as it were. Um, and sometimes you'll be kind of puzzling over which is the best way to go. Um, but definitely uh, learning new things as you go forwards, uh, which will feed into the professional area, feed into the area of your general life direction. And you should feel by the, the end of the transit or once it's gone over the degrees, more established um, in your field uh, with your direction uh, uh, as this is a time when you can, I, then when you can actually seek to identify more from your core with what you do in, in a worldly sense, you know, um, and that would be great if you could manage to pull that one off. Jupiter comes round here once, calls into this port once every 12 years. And you Librans born between the 23rd of September and the 2nd of October, all with up to nine degrees rising, going to feel this energy the most this month. Saturn moved out of your sign um, last October and now uh, you are in a cycle of having to meet the challenges related to the material, physical, security orientated side of life, the financial side of life and um, consistency, um, harder work, disciplined effort uh, will be needed in anything to do with you know, the bank account, the piggy bank, the property, um, you know, um, maybe some business or some venture you're trying to build on, make more lucrative or um, some cause you've got going there uh, and um, you need to, um, you know, um, um, figure out some, some way to um, get, the, get, get the cash flowing better and uh, or it might not be cash, it might be, you know, that you're tapping into using other resources, um, you know, digging the veggie plot or um, having a wind turbine or you know solar panel what, what, whatever it's about or maybe it's not about that anything out there at all maybe it's about you in here and you you making use of your own inborn talents and gifts and you Librans born 27th to the 30th September all with 46 degrees rising going to feel this energy the most and that's it for July. Now, if you want to know what the other longer, uh, slower moving planets are doing, I update it every month. So you can go to my website to find out which part of your sign they may be affecting. And um, if you know your moon sign or your rising sign, then listen to the, uh, um, listen to the f uh, videos for those. And um, I'll see you the next time.